Cheers is filmed before a live studio. Anybody know what time it is? <laughs> Why ever do you ask? <laughs> Just because my rich new sweetheart, Robin Colcord, sent me this beautiful, very expensive gold watch from Zurich. And I can't tell what time it is. <laughs> Can you read this? Yeah, it says, this could feed my family for a year. Uh, don't be childish. If anybody needs me, I'll be skipping around in my office. Say, uh, when's your uh, rich boyfriend coming back? In about a week. Oh, good, good. That'll give you time to make up uh, excuses not to go to bed with him. I want to go to bed with him. I'm just waiting for the right time. Oh, well, maybe that's why you gave me the watch. <laughs> Don't worry, Rebecca. There is nothing wrong with making a guy wait. It piques their interest. I once made a guy wait until we were both undressed. <laughs> And how do you know that I haven't been to bed with Robin? Did Sam tell you that? No! I'm a woman. A woman knows. You know, I must say I'm with Carla on this one. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with two people getting to know each other before they have a physical relationship. And how did you know? Well, I'm a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist knows. What are you waiting for, Bucky? Yeah, hit the sheets already, kid. <laughs> Sam. Pool players know. <laughs> But that was, that was my idea. Was it? So hard to recall. The ideas were flying so fast and furious in there, weren't they? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Now, if I had bought that, that property, couldn't I have sold it to you for a profit? And you wouldn't take advantage of a friend, would you? You, you talked me out of that place just so you could get it yourself. No, I, I didn't talk you out of anything. I talked you into following your heart. You're a man with a dream, Sam. I envy you. But if it makes you feel any better, I'm willing to come to an arrangement. Yeah? Yes, uh, let's see. Yes, you no longer owe me a favor. Oh, uh, Robin, I'm all set. Let me just get my purse. Darling, you're lovely. I'll get Miles to bring the car around and, um, oh, that's for the drink. So, Rebecca, tonight's the big night, huh? <laughs> gonna happen. I can feel it. It's not gonna happen. I know that I'm gonna chicken out again. Oh, Robin's gonna be so disappointed. No, no, he won't. He's already done it to me today. <laughs> well, I can't be too mad at the guy who gave me a radiator flush for my birthday. Sammy, you're never gonna buy the bar back this rate. What can I do? Tapped out by the time I pay for gas and tune-ups and Philippe the chamois boy. <laughs> Why don't you sell the car? Hey. It's just a car. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain something to you here. We're not talking about just a car. We're talking about Sammy's vet. The stud mobile, the baby. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I mean, where would Sam be without his crutch? You know, all those years, those women weren't making love to you. They were making love to your car. No, that's where you're wrong. They were making love in my car. <laughs> there's Sam Malone here. Yeah, I'm speaking. I'm Dennis Hamill. I'm here about the Corvette. Great, Dennis. Have a seat right there. I can't wait to see it. Whoa, whoa. slow down there. Slow down. First, we have to learn a little bit about you here, Dennis. About me? Yeah, yeah, you see? Matching a Corvette with the right owner, Dennis, is kind of like finding a home for an animal. Except an animal is just an animal, and we're talking about a Corvette. <laughs> okay, but I'm kind of pressed for time. I gotta get to my hairstylist. Good, good. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> hairstylist, all right. All right, this would be pretty simple here. Just a few uh, multiple choice questions. Great, shoot. Number one, it's high noon. You're driving in Harvard Square, parking's limited. Do you A, park in a handicapped zone, B, park in a regular spot under a tree, C, drive around till a space opens up? C. 
What are you nuts? I can't believe it, man. That's a trick question. You don't drive this baby at high noon, man. Sun damage, bucko. What the hell's wrong with you? What do you want to do? Oxidize the paint? Get out of here. You make me sick. I can't believe it. You must try my car at high noon, hard to work. <laughs> Is what I heard true? Did you get a new Ferrari? No, Volar. Ooh. Hey, Sammy is still Sammy, babes are still babes, and I don't need a fancy car to catch them. As a matter of fact, when I was pulling up here, there were a couple of twins that couldn't take their eyes off me. Huh, fellas? Twins ahoy. Oh. Hello, lovely ladies. Can I help you? Are you the man we just saw getting out of a Ferrari out front? A little passion beige number? Could be, could be. My God, it was him, and he admitted it. 